Hey guys, I had a couple of questions from users asking how we go about adding in our fixed prices to Plus Design Build. And it's actually reasonably uh, simple, but I don't think I've explained it before, so I think you'll learn a fair bit out of this, even if uh, you've you know, got this sorted out. Let's have a quick look here. I've just clicked, I'm on the demo model, guys, just so you know. So the demo model is the model that comes inside of Plus Spec, and you can find that under your question mark, under help and support, click on help and support and click here. It'll automatically open this model so you can try this yourself. And you'll notice inside of this model uh, that it's already got a takeoff and everything done and information saved to the model because it's specific to the project. Now, if I just want to break this down and get it to Windows, probably just to make it estimate a little bit quicker, I'm just going to go to Windows Schedule and you can see all my windows there. I'm going to hit takeoff. And when my takeoff opens, you'll notice that it's got preliminary items and windows and doors inside of there. Now, I'm kind of looking for, uh, I want to be able to put in a window price. So here, for instance, now I could just click fixed price and remember who it was. And I could type in a, a, a thing here, but that would be for my best price. But sometimes I want to compare quotes and they may come in over several weeks. So the best way to do that, if you go up to your preliminary uh, quantity manual and preliminary items here, you'll notice that I've got a whole heap of things already inside of this. Uh, and, and a lot of them are preliminary items that I might choose to charge counsel for, uh, for, to charge the client or safety issues or whatever they are, and we can click those. However, I want to put my quotes in here, so how do I do it? Well, first thing we do is we output our template with quantities. I'm going to call, I'm going to put this on the desktop, I'm going to call it training. You should name these according to a genre that you can remember. I'm going to go training and then save. Right, and let's quickly get, find, find that. And you'll notice that when I open this spreadsheet up, it has all this information. To make it easier, if I click up here between A and 1 and double click here, it's basically, come on, come on Excel. Double click there. It just opened up all of the team scenes for me, guys. So essentially, click up here, double click uh, in between the cell, and it's done this. And uh, you'll notice it has a selection category and a name and a description, quantity of measure, and so on. And what we can do, we can insert cells inside of here if we choose. <clears throat> Behind here, you'll notice I've done this before because you don't want to see me type all this in manually. So I've gone and I've typed in my selection category is window quotes, my, the, the name of the business I'm going to get the quote from, and the description I'm going to get the quote from. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these cells, if I can get them, shift, and I copy them, you would write this in obviously. Go back to here, and I'm just going to insert these cells. Insert copy cells. <clears throat> and I shift the cells down. I don't want to shift them right. Okay, and now I have more suppliers in here. And you'll notice it has a no in front of them. It means that I don't automatically want to have this in there. I'm going to select to do that later. And go File and Save. Okay. Now, if I go back into and go Import Template, Quick Access, Open, you'll notice that it's imported. 110 items, which is everything that I had in there. But I now have a tab that says window quotes. And when I open that up, you'll notice I have the supplier name uh, and I have a brief description of what it is. Now, these suppliers are going to come back for the price. Let's just say that the first one is 8888 and the second one. <clears throat> There's some really cool things I'm going to show you with this in a second. And Okay, so these are the prices and I, can, and I can go and fill in or copy and paste any descriptions. I can give them cost codes from inside of here. I think 33 is my windows. And I can go in and give them vendors over here if, I, if I've imported these particular vendors. I think you get the idea. <clears throat> right, so we've got, gone through and we've done that. Now... We may come back to this later and these quotes might come later. So for me to find these things, all I really have to do is type in window. 
right? And it's basically filtered through for everything that's got window in there. When I push enter, it will search everything for me. Now, once I do that, I can actually uh, filter it via windows via the supply price, right? So you can see that now I have the cheapest supply price at the top or most expensive supply price at the top. So these are allow allowing me to filter via name, via description or whatever. And so obviously, you know what, depending on, I'm gonna choose the intermediate price here. So I'm gonna use a Bradnam's quote and I'm going to go save. Okay. Now it's the ones that are deselected aren't going to be added into my price. Go back to here, preliminary quantities and manuals. I now, uh, manual quantities and preliminary items. I now have my window quote in here, which means that I want to exclude it from here, right? Therefore, these are all the items that are, that I'm going to do inside of here. If I wanted to edit, see more, it'll go back in there for me and change it. Right. I hadn't put in an amount, guys. I didn't say I want one quote. Save all and go back. All right, now you can see I've got my quote for 6,600. If I had to put a supplier in there, inside of my windows, over here, choose a vendor. I'm gonna go down, I don't know if I've got Bradnams in there. I think we'll have windows. I would choose the supplier that I'm going to do or going to buy these from and select it. There it is there. Okay. Save it. Go back. That way when I wanted to create a purchase order for that window supplier, I could actually go through, you can see I've got my vendor here now and I've got my price. Now if for some reason they couldn't deliver or, or weren't able to or they didn't have an allow for something or whatever it was, I can simply just go back to my preliminary items, go back to windows, <clears throat> open it up here and change it from this supplier to this supplier, obviously put in one, add your supplier, whoever is gonna be, obviously you'll import all these suppliers uh, from QuickBooks or wherever it is you're gonna bring them from and therefore my price will update. Now I'm at $7,700. Save, go back. All right, now I have a different supplier with a different price. All right guys, you can do that with anything. It could be framing prices, it could be whatever. The most important thing is to exclude uh, what they've quoted on, uh, create those inside of your spreadsheet, All right? Import them back in. now. This is really handy. So the most important thing to know is that these are the headings. It makes it so much easier to find information. All right, guys, hope it helps. Cheers.